These advanced dowsing techniques are to be used at your own risk. Thank you. Hi there, it's Colleen Flanagan, mind body wisdom expert and master dowser. I'm also the author of this newly released book, Fearless Accurate Dowsing. It teaches you not only how to douse, how to use the pendulum, uh, how to muscle test, but it also teaches how to apply that knowledge once you get really, really good at dowsing to find and clear any harmful emotions in you or identify dates or you could identify past life, your angels, and also how to help your loved ones, including your animal friends. So please check it out on Amazon, Fearless Accurate Dowsing. This particular video, because it's halfway to uh, Halloween now, it's uh, the month of October, I want to talk about uh, the spirits that might be lurking around your house. A lot of people say, oh, all the scary spirits come out on Halloween. That's why we wear Halloween costumes, right, supposedly to scare them off. But they're around all the time. And I've been in Arizona ghost towns and those different buildings and different parts of uh, the United States that have had ghosts and identify them and you just send them into the light if that's what they want. Some just like to hang out and mingle with the people, you know, but that's all identifiable through dowsing. Here's how I do it. First, I call in Archangel Michael. Thank you, sweet Archangel Michael. And I'm feeling a blue light just pouring in on me now. Oh my goodness. Thank you for being here to protect me uh, and to protect all the viewers of this video and to help us discover if there's any spirits around uh, in my house at this time. You may notice there's spirits around if you smell something that was like your grandmother's perfume or your grandfather's pipe or your father's uh, aftershave or in my case I had a couple of uncles who were huge party animals. Oh my gosh. When I would smell cigarette smoke and alcohol, like my house would smell like a, a bar room. I would know they were there and I needed to talk to them and help them in any way I could. So let's just do a quick reenactment of what I did for that. I have permission to find out what these smells of alcohol and cigarettes are doing in my house and if it's connected to a spirit. There's one spirit in my house that's connected and, and trying to get my attention through the smell of alcohol or cigarettes. There's two, three, four. Holy moly, they, they were having a party in my house. I didn't even know it. Are any of these uh, my uncles? All of them. Right now. Back from the reenactment. All right. And I already know the, the four uncles, uh, who it was. It's, uh, I'll just say, Uncle Jay. The other Uncle Jay. Uncle T. Uncle E, of course. Do these uncles have something they want to share with me? They want to know how I'm doing, how their family members, which are my cousins doing, anything like that. They just wanted to say hi and ask to be sent into the light higher and higher. They feel like they've been lurking too long on earth. Well, I can understand that. So what I'm just going to do is ask Archangel Michael and if needed, Archangel Raphael, the Master Healer, sweet, kind angels, would you please send these four delightful souls of the uncles I knew in this life, who they were just, there were separate occasions with all of them that I had a blast. I used to be a big party animal myself. Would you please send them all into the light as high as they can possibly go and just shed God's grace on them, God's goodness, God's glory, and help uplift them and if they want to go into another life, um, uh, something even better that they, they were in, maybe more enlightened. You do something like that and just say, are there any messages or anything from me from these souls? Are they gone now? Okay. Now you could douse for messages about the souls, like say a grandparent is in the same room or a parent. Uh, and you would just say something like, you know, d um, do I have permission to find out if there's any messages from this, this soul of uh, my father in this room? Okay, is it about love? Is it about money? All right, um, Dad, what do you have to tell me about money? Um, to save more, to be thrifty, to make wiser decisions. And just verify it through the dowsing. That's what I do. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Just keep asking questions and... 
the more you use this technique or any dowsing, the more your intuition should expand and should improve to the point where you may be able to be like me as soon as you walk into a building or a house or any part on earth, even uh, if you're sitting in your car at an intersection, right away you know that some people died in this intersection and you need to help them go into the light or clean the intersection, which I would use my pendulum for or my hand, either one. I now release all non-beneficial energies, emotions, entities, anything that's still in this house, in this intersection, in this building, in this part of earth. <sighs> From violence that might have happened here even hundreds of years ago, I clear it out now. Let it all go, let it all go, let it all go. And I spin in goodness, grace, and glory of spirit, the purest, most beautiful, healed and healing source energy and so it is something like that your intention is very strong and powerful so the words are not as important as your intention to put forth that healing energy it'll come through you from source from spirit whatever you believe in i hope you enjoyed this video please check out my website emorescue.com if you're not really an advanced dowser yet feel free to check out my book it's well worth the price uh it took years of my life to put together all the information I had into that book. As Wayne Dyer said, you should never die with your music still in you. So I give my music to you, sweet souls. Take care of yourself. Thank you very much. Namaste. Decode Life's Mysteries. Learn dowsing today and help yourself, family, friends, and animal friends.